I was welcome back to Smart Excel. This is the second video in break even point. This is a very important video because I have done this myself to get the break even point. Now you can see this is a chart and this is the break even point over here. So I just refer to my this is my second video. Please refer to my first video, which I covered these topics here. So let's start with my second video and what I want to cover here. So, And this actually I have done through, and when you select this, you can see this is the points which been selected from here is the chart. Now I want to put a break even point. So first of all, as you have seen that if I try to make some dummy lines and how is it is going to affect, I'm going to insert, add, illustrations and shape. I'm going to select a dummy line and I'm going to do this. So 375 and 150, so 150,000, so it will be around here. And 375 is going to be around here. So this will be the, so this can be the break even point, so around here. So let's take the size and uh, just let's make it a little broader. I'm going to make this into four points. And I'm going to draw one more line. And that is also again. So 375 will be around this area here. So if I select this, then this is going to be over again. I'm going to change the color. So the color will be like green. So this is a break even point for as for the data you can see 375 pieces and 150,000. But this doesn't make any sense if you have a shift. And because the, if you change this into 400, I'm going to show you. So it has to create an impact. So you can see no changes have been doing here. So no impact has been created, whatever you do in this one. So I would like to de delete this and so before doing that, I would like to show some other things. Uh, these legends, I don't want to be here. So what I'll be doing is these legends, I can move it to bottom. So I get more, you can see the legends. So I can get more bigger area, this cover. So this is going to help me a better visualization. So now I want to do this magically. I want to uh, the break one point. I want to add it automatically. So what can you do? Is, I have not seen any video for this in Excel or in YouTube. Sorry. So you select the point here. You can select from here or you can select select data. So now I want to add a data uh, a break one point from here. So I'll do is I'll go to add. This is the same thing which you can select from here also. So this select data one is the same you can do. And I'm going to add my series name will be I'm going to caps lock break even points will be my name. So X will be the out, the inputs which will be this one. And this will be I'll remove this first, and this will be my y value. So, output so this is my input, and output here. So, you can see here, take an angle sign of this, and I'm going to do OK. So, I have a break in point here now. So, you can see there is no still, there is no point has come here. I'm going to do OK. So again, I have to go to this chart and I'm going to go to error bar and I'm going to 5. I'm going to select 5. So you can see that you can't, there is no break even point, but here you have to go in this area where you can see the law of wasp labels are here. So you can scroll down. And you can see break one point here. So I'm going to click on X bar. So 
some bar has been selected here. You can see this has been selected. What I will do is I am going to change this color into any color I will change it. And I am going to make this width approximately 5. So you can see the changes are here. So again, I'm going to go down. I am going to go into this area. And you can see plus, minus, and all. So here, I'm going to change this to percentage. Into, it's very careful. The, all the directions are here. So select one, two. When you see this bar, you can see. And I'm going to make this into 100. And enter. You can see it, the break even point has come here. Now, I want to make it just for one side. So I'm going to make this is going to be minus. You can see plus if I do plus, it is going to come this side. But I want to select minus if you do both, it will be this one. And again, I'm going to do some sort of transition to make it double. If you want, you can add this to seven or so. And some other options also you can check. We have there are various options, but this is not here. Now I'm going to go again here. Now this was the X bar. Now I'm going to go down, scroll it down, and go for the Y bar. So you can see this some selection is happening here. Again, I'm going to continue the same thing. I want to make this into seven. I want to click here and make this into green. And after that, again I'll go to this bar area. And here I'm going to make this into hundred again. So you can see the bar has been extended. Again, as I told you, you can have a caps move up. So I want to have the area is from this side minus. If you have a vote, you can see it's going up. So I want to have minus here. Let's move it to down here. So you can see now the break even this is 375 and this is 150. Again, if you want, you can do some sort of move to make this into more beautiful. Now we have got the break even point. So this is how we can get a break even point. There are other things to be looked and taken care of. Now you can see this. My data is valid till 400,000, but I am getting here 500,000. So I want to reduce this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here, go to access, go to more options. And in more options, I want to see this is for horizontal axis. So this is a horizontal axis. And as I told you, this data is starting from zero, but I want to start it from 100. So go to, and I want to start it from 100 and to click the bar. This bar is a very important bar. So this is the important bar for any option, anything. So I'm going to maximum. I want this, this is made as to 1200. I want it 1200, so I will be making it to 1000. So you can see it is in reason. And you can see the major grid lines are 100. So it depends, you can see 100. If you want, you can make this to 50 also, so you can get more. So you can see 375 is lying here. If you make this to 25. You can see 375 here. So this is our break even point and is 150,000. Now, apart from that, if you want, you can move, move from zero also. So the minimum amount over here is maximum 100. Maximum one, minus one, oh, sorry. Minimum bonds are 100. So if you want, you can remove this to minimum 100. So you can see it is being reducing. Now after the horizontal is done, we can go to the vertical uh, same horizontal value x. Now we can go to vertical value axis. Now here I don't want 500,000, so we'll be removing it to 400,000. So maximum I'm going to change this to 4. And again, I don't want this minus 100,000, so I want to have a minimum 50,000. So we'll be reducing minus 50,000. You can see the changes are happening. And apart from that, if you see that 
if you want to have a pinpoint section, then this is the access that you have. So the other topics to be covered will be like brought the legends down, grid line colors, increase the visibility. Okay, so I'm going to increase the visibility. And I sell, select this. You can select either this is a lost point. So I'm going to select this and make this into red. So I will just increase this to three. So this is the area of loss. Now you can see this is a fixed cost. So this is 60,000, this is a fixed cost. So when I select, you double click this. Again, this is a fixed cost, so I want it to be fixed for the whole. So I want it straight. And other also you can select manually, you can increase the points to the data is whichever you require. You can select and you can make it more visible. And if you want, you can select the data points here. And you can change the color. You can increase the width. This doesn't look nice, yeah. So you can select this also. Select the axis. And you can make this into grayish color. So you can get 150,000, as you can see here, in 375. Apart from that, Apart from that, I can see any topics to be covered is the trend lines. Uh, you can put data followed. If you want to have data pullout, you can do that. Go to data labels, and you can add data. Or you can increase the size and you select the whole chart and then you select and you can increase. And here you can just put it down. Make it red color. And here you can make it yellow. This will be more visible and clean. So this is our break in analysis. So this has to be, and I have mostly I've covered all the topics, color, yellow, just data labels and all. Again, you can select many things here. Whenever you select, do select any feature, you can see here. You can select, you can select this area. And you can, from here, you can keep on, if you want, you can add a chart title, but I don't want it right now. If you want, you can remove the legends, or you can go and remove the legends. These are the trend lines. You can change the trend lines. These are the grid lines. Now, this was to most of the things I've been covered. Now, let's see the main important thing. Now, if I'm going to change this to 400, will my data increase or decrease? Can this be done? So, I'm going to hit enter. So, you can see gradually the break even point is moving. If I make this into 700, so this has become very dynamic now. So, I don't want to do anything manually. So if I'm going to again, I'm going to go to Control Z. Again, Control Z. So this is my break one point. This was a very important video. I would like to see you in the next video, and I'm going to cover the rest of the topics which are going to be these things. So thanks for watching, and let's see you in the third video on break one point, the third and final video.